It's finally home time for a group of Canadians caught in the chaos of the COVID-19 outbreak. Two weeks after they were airlifted out of Wuhan, China, a group of people left CFB Trenton free from quarantine and back to their regular lives. But the clock has just started ticking on a 14-day quarantine of Canadians who were on board the Diamond Princess cruise ship. 129 of them landed in Canada this morning. Mike Armstrong was there as the buses pulled up in Cornwall, Ontario. They are going from one 14-day quarantine to another. After two weeks on what some called a floating prison, the Canadian Diamond Princess passengers home for the next two weeks is a convention centre. They're in an isolated wing of the NAVCAN facility, a big improvement according to one couple. The Chows, speaking from their new room, say they understand the quarantine is to protect them and the public. I don't mind this 14 days. Both myself and my wife, we agree that we should take this extra 14 days to be virus free. Now, in addition to the passengers brought back, there are about two dozen other people being put in quarantine. Anyone who came in contact with them on the way back, everyone from medical staff and flight crew to the bus drivers. Some will be evaluated. If there wasn't much contact, they could be released early. But health officials are being careful. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, people who are on the cruise will have to stay here for 14 days. There were fewer passengers repatriated than expected. About 70 Canadians declined the government flight home and stayed in Japan. Having completed the quarantine on the ship, the Japanese government is now letting them off and they're free to move around the country. But when they return to Canada, they will be put in quarantine, public health officials say, whether in a day, a week or three months from now. Two governments are seeing the risk of bringing back passengers from the Diamond Princess. Israel repatriated 11 citizens and Friday announced one has tested positive. Australia repatriated 30 and is confirming two cases. In each one, the passengers tested negative, boarding the plane home and positive once they arrived. It's not unexpected that some people might have been incubating the virus. COVID-19 ripped through the Diamond Princess. There were more than 600 cases. Experts say something went wrong with the quarantine. The passengers now back in Canada will be checked twice daily. They're also being offered psychological help to get them through the understandable emotional stress. Mike Armstrong, Global News, Cornwall, Ontario. And public health officials in British Columbia are trying to figure out how a woman contracted COVID-19 after returning from Iran. The woman in her 30s is BC's sixth confirmed case. It's not clear how she became infected. Iran only confirmed its first COVID-19 cases this week. The total number of official cases there is 18 and four people have died. Though the World Health Organization is now concerned the number of undetected cases worldwide could be much higher than what official numbers are showing. Cases that have no clear link to China. In South Korea, the outbreak keeps spreading. Two people there have died, and the number of confirmed cases has soared to over 340. Dozens are linked to a fringe religious group. And another emergency is unfolding in northern Italy. 15 new cases are now confirmed in some small towns, bringing the total in Italy to 18, and one person has died. Some schools, restaurants, and businesses have closed there to try to stop the spread.